you're at all interested in filmmaking with your iPhone, then Small Rig have a video cage for the iPhone 14 Pro and iPhone 14 Pro Max, and it lets you mount things like microphones, lenses, uh, handles, lights, anything that you'd need really for filmmaking. And along with the cage that Small Rig sent me, they also sent me an anamorphic lens. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how the whole system works and then show you some footage from the anamorphic lens as well. So the video cage comes with a handle or you can get the bundle where you can get two handles and I'd actually recommend that. And the handle has a shutter button so you can control filming and taking photos without having to actually touch your phone and it works via Bluetooth. And then on the back of the cage, you've got these cutouts which is where you can put the lenses. For the anamorphic lens, in the case you get the lens, um, which has a lens cap on it, which is a really nice touch. And you also get a filter adapter, though strangely, small rig don't supply the filters so you can't buy a filter for this system you'd have to get a third party filter so that's a bit weird but you also get a bag and a cloth to keep the lens clean so the lens and the cage are both made out of aluminium and I'm a massive fan of small rig products because they always feel so well made and I have quite a few small rig products and I'm never disappointed when I use them the cage for the phone just feels really sturdy and really well made and the grip feels really nice to hold as well. And the cage just fits the phone in really nicely. It's really snug, it doesn't feel loose and it doesn't rattle around, so that's really cool. I have to say though, at first the USB-C port threw me because I thought that you needed to connect the phone to the handle and then use an app to actually use the shutter button, but it's literally just to charge the handle and then the handle connects via Bluetooth and then you can just use it via Bluetooth. So yeah, USB-C port to charge the handle. One of the things that does disappoint me is the filter adapter because if you're getting into filmmaking and you really want to dive into it, using filters is quite a big part of that. So using ND filters, CPLs, that kind of thing. And the fact that this system doesn't necessarily accommodate for that in a really easy way, that's a little bit disappointing. And I think that's where the Freewell system is really good because if you use the anamorphic lens, then you can screw in an ND filter on top of that or a CPL on top of that. Um, so that works really well. So that's the only disappointing um, part of this system that I've noticed so far, because I feel like filters are quite a big part of a filmmaker's toolkit. And so it just seems like a bit of an oversight in that respect, but hopefully one that can be addressed in future iterations of the product. So one of the things that I actually really like about this system is the fact that you've got a lot of mounting options. So you've got a couple of cold tree mounts and you've got quarter inch um, holes so that you can attach different accessories wherever and then you can also mount the rig to a tripod or a gimbal or anything like that and the thing that I really like about the cage as well on the back is that when you're attaching the lenses so the anamorphic lenses you don't have to necessarily unscrew it does not it's not a screw but you kind of twist it on but you can just literally take off the lens and the base of it will still stay on the cage because it's a magnet. So that's really useful if you're just swapping between different lenses. So that's gonna save you a bit of time and it's always great when you don't have to faff around with gear. The footage from the anamorphic lens actually looks good. I don't really have any problems with it other than the fact that it does give a warmer tone, but you can pretty much fix that in post anyway it's quite easy and quite quick to fix and the streak effect isn't too obnoxious it's not like really thick or anything it's got quite a nice streak effect and like i said the one that i have has got the blue streak effect but you can get a gold streak one so yeah happy with the quality and i think the footage looks good One thing that I will say is that if you're going to use an anamorphic lens, you need to have really controlled shots or have the camera very steady. So if you want to be walking around with the camera or doing any kind of walking movements, then a gimbal is definitely going to be needed. Otherwise, you're going to have that wobble jello like look and it's not going to look very good. It's not going to stabilize properly in post. So definitely getting a gimbal and using a gimbal if you're going to be walking with the camera using an anamorphic lens. 
So if you're getting into filmmaking with your iPhone, is this something that you think you'd use? Do you think you find it useful? Let me know in the comments below. I've dropped links to the cage and the filter, not the filter, the lens in the description. So check that out. And also if you want to check out the Freewell Sherpa series as well, there's a link to that in the description. Thanks for watching this video. If you found it useful, do give it a thumbs up because it helps the channel and catch you on the next video.